Hello everyone, my name is Isabella Sislawati. I'm an excellent Bobby enthusiast with decades of business experience. In my day-to-day -day life, I often witness Power BI user playing around with filters and slicers trying to get more insights. And then they often ask, how do I clear all filters and get back to the original default view? In this video, I'd like to introduce you to two buttons. The first one is a reset button that you can find in Power BI Surface. And the second one is a clear all filter button that you can create in Power BI Desktop. A reset button is a default button which is readily available, but only in Power BI Surface and not in Power BI Desktop. When you click this button, every slices and filters in all pages get reset back to their default value. In comparison, a clear all filter button, it is not a default button, it needs to be first created. However, once created, it can be used in both Power BI Surface and Power BI Desktop. When you use this button, every slicer and filters in the page are cleared and replaced with all. Reset button is a default button that can only be found in Power BI Surface and not in Power BI Desktop. When you press this button, every slicer and filter get reset back to their default value. The reset button is sometimes gray and sometimes yellow. When it's gray, it means that all the slicer and filters are currently set at the default value. And when it's yellow, it means that some slices of filters have been modified. And if we want, we can click the button to get back to the default value. This is the reset button. It is currently gray, as the report is currently untouched since it was published. No filters or slicer selections have been modified. This is the piano report for our call center and for the month of May. Now notice something, I'm going to select a different call center, Adelaide. Watch, the reset filter is now yellow. And I'm going to select a different month, March, and it's still yellow. And watch this, as I click this button, hit reset. We are now back to May reports for all call center. Next, I'm going to introduce you to a clear all filter button. It is something that we need to create ourselves in Power BI Desktop before we publish it in Power BI Surface. Once we click this button, then all the filtering that happened in this page, as well as slicer selection in this page, will be cleared and will be replaced by all selections. So watch this month, currently it's month five, when I click all filters, it will become all. And so does everything else on the right in here. Notice in the filter pane, everything is now all, 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 all. Next, I'm going to show you how to create a clear all button like this in Power BI Desktop. But note, when you're using this button in Power BI Desktop, you have to press control click. So watch this, as I press control click, the month will reset to all just like that. Okay, we already have this button in this page, so let's create one together in a different page, the PNL by GL. So step one, let's clear all the slicer and make sure the filter pane on the right does not have anything selected. Just make sure everything is all and if you've got any selected, just clear them. Once that's done, then we're going to create a bookmark to bookmark this page. Hit bookmark so that the bookmark pane appear on the right and then after that, add a new bookmark. And let's call this PNL GL clear all filters. Once we have done that, let's then insert a button a blank one, click and drag, put it over here, and let's then assign an action for this button. We are going to turn it on, and we say this button should be a bookmark, linked to a bookmark, and it should be linked to GL clear all filters, 
And let's also name this button. This is a little bit too plain. So what we're going to do is we are going to go to style. Turn on the text. Clear all filters. All right, that's looking better. And let's put a bit of color. Turn on the fill. And let's color it orange. And make the transparency 0%. Okay, that's good. And let's make the text white. Okay, and then for the border, let's turn it off. Okay, so much better. Give it a bit of shadow and a bit of glow. Turn it on and make that gray and make this a bit bigger all right that's our button now let's try this Control click okay nothing happened because we haven't changed anything now i'm going to select month one and year 2020 and then let's try our filter Control click now it's working so, which one do you prefer? The default reset button or a manually created clear all filter button? Personally, I prefer using the reset button as it is way more powerful. It can reset filters and slicers to default value in all pages instead of just in one page. However, since the reset button is only available in Power BI Service and not in Power BI Desktop, if you are primarily consuming your report in Power BI Desktop, then you may need to have to create your own clear all filter button so that you can use it in Power BI Desktop. See you next time.